Hi everyone, this is Sammy. I've had a request for a tutorial on how to make a fat bottom bag. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how easy it is. I could show you a more complicated way to make these bags, but if you follow my channel, you know that I usually try to make things as simple as possible. For this one, I started with a foundation chain of 50 stitches, and then I worked a rectangle working in the back side of the stitch only, and I did 16 rows. Or you could work a granny square and make your bag from a granny square. If you want to line your bag, you should do that before we start decreasing the stitches. To line your bag, just place it on a piece of fabric. This is just one of my husband's old shirts. And you're going to cut it out exactly the same as your rectangle. And then you're going to pin it all the way around, turning it in so that you still have access to the stitches. If you have a sewing machine, you could sew this with a zigzag. Or you can just go around and sew it on with a needle and thread, like that. So just sew that all the way around. Okay, so I'm going to finish this demonstration using the granny square. So you're just going to bring your yarn through and chain one. So now I'm going to show you a new procedure, and it's going to be a three-stitch decrease. So I'm going to go into one stitch, come out through the other stitch, and back in through the third stitch. I'm going to pick up the yarn and I'm going to bring it through all those stitches and complete my single crochet. Okay, so in through one stitch, out through the next, in through the third stitch, pick up the yarn and bring it through and complete the single crochet. So I'm going to do that all the way across this row. Okay, I've worked all the way across the row and you can see that this has gathered up this row of stitches. Now I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to single crochet across to this side and I'm going to repeat that for four rows. So chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row. Okay, I've finished that row. I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to do that for two more rows. Yeah, okay, I've finished that and I'm going to fasten off and then I'm going to do that on this end as well. Okay, I have both sides done now and those are going to be the top of the bag. And now I'm going to go along this edge. Okay, I've worked up all up that side. Now I'm going to fasten off and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, I have both sides decreased here. And I'm also going to pass a cord through here. I'll show you that after. Just so that I can close this up if I want to. So now comes the handle. Take eight strands of worsted weight yarn. You crochet a chain with a large hook. And then I'm going to cut these and use them as tassels at the end. I'm going to attach my bag handle on the outside. And I'm going to have these little tassels. So I have matching yarn in a yarn needle. I'm just going to attach by passing the needle through that yarn just above the knot so that gets good and secure. I'll just get another good stitch there. And then I'm going to place my bag handle on and I'm going to sew it. Okay, like that. Okay, now I chained a cord of about 80. I'm going to pass it through this opening. And you could do it any color, you could do it black. So I'm going to start here and I'm just going to weave this through every second stitch. Like that. And now I can tie these and I can make this as tight or as loose as I would like. And I'm just going to trim those ends and tie a knot in each end. Like that. So now you can just go ahead and decorate your bag any way you like. Click on the next link to find out how to make these flowers. Click on the next link to find out how to crochet leaves. Click on the next link to find out how to make this flower.
So there you go. I hope you enjoyed seeing how easy it is to make these fat bottom bags. Don't forget to click like if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Thanks for watching.